trying to free your mind, Neo. But I can only show you the door. You're the one that has to walk through it. Morpheus is about to teach the most important lessons in human history. He must provide Neo with the knowledge and skills necessary to fulfill his destiny as the one, the person who will destroy the Matrix. It's a huge task. Neo doesn't even know the Matrix exists yet, but Morpheus has been preparing for this his whole life. Let's consider the strategies Morpheus applies in his lessons with Neo. Have you ever had a dream, Neo, that you were so sure was real? What if you were unable to wake from that dream? Welcome to the real world. Morpheus begins by inspiring Neo's curiosity. It's the question that drives us here. It's the question that brought you here. He then lays out some key ideas Neo will need to understand. The Matrix is everywhere. It is all around us. Even now, in this very room. But he holds back specifics until after Neo has some real-world experience of the surprising truth. Unfortunately, no one can be told what the Matrix is. You have to see it for yourself. There's nothing I can say that will explain it for you, Neo. Come with me. See for yourself. His lessons are deliberately paced, beginning with Neo's personal experience and sensations, and then expanding into a history lesson. Morpheus relies on metaphors Neo will recognise, and uses media and technology to support his lectures. He also simplifies this story by consistently teaching through the lens of a single concept. What is the Matrix? Control. What truth? That you are a slave, Neo. As long as the Matrix exists, the human race will never be free. Still, Neo is overwhelmed. He needs time to digest this difficult knowledge. He is supported in this by others, especially Trinity. Trinity knows that Neo has not yet fully assimilated his learning, but instead of correcting his mistakes, she holds back, giving him time to figure it out himself. God. What? I used to eat that. Really good noodles. I have these memories from my life. None of them happened. In this world, acquiring some knowledge can be instantaneous. Combat training. I know Kung Fu. Show me. For Morpheus, the content Neo has uploaded to his brain is useful, but how Neo uses that knowledge matters. There's a difference between knowing the path and walking the path. Improvisation. But your weakness is not your technique. He draws attention to strengths in Neo's thinking and changes the lessons to ensure that Neo is working on the hard parts, the skills he has not yet mastered. How did I beat you? He emphasizes that it is Neo's way of thinking that needs to grow, but he cannot tell Neo how to think. You're too fast. Do you believe that my being stronger or faster? has anything to do with my muscles. Instead, he asks him questions that will push him towards important understandings. You think that's air you're breathing now? Hmm. And when Neo fails, Morpheus isn't worried. He believes that failing is essential to the process of learning. Being the one is just like being in love. No one can tell you you're in love, you just know it. Morpheus cannot prove to Neo that he is the one. He cannot make him believe it. I told you I can only show you the door. You have to walk through it. 
All he can do is be patient and show total faith in Neo's ability to change and grow. They will never be as strong or as fast as you can be. What are you waiting for? You're faster than this. Others have given Neo the illusion of choice to try to control him, but Morpheus does not do this, and his patience is rewarded. What is he doing? He's beginning to believe. And that's the Morpheus approach to education, learning at a discrete pace through a range of techniques, a focus on the practical application of knowledge to change how you think about the world, and faith that the student will make the right decisions when the time comes. Like most learning, the process is complicated by the intense pressure of high-stakes testing and is clearly less important than true love's first kiss. But in this world, it works. Who were the teachers in your life who taught you to see the world in a new way? Did they guide you in the same way as Morpheus guides Neo? Or was it a different approach to teaching and learning that made you the person you are today? There are fields Endless fields where human beings are no longer born. We are grown. Whoa. Okie dokie.